Hi everyone, today we're going to study testing equations for symmetry. First, let us define symmetry of a graph. Symmetry is a feature of a graph such that half of the graph is the reflection of the other with respect to a particular reference. Let us have an example. I have here a circle and I'm going to draw a vertical diameter. I will fold this circle into two vertically with reference to this diameter and you will see this figure here. And this is now half of the circle. And we say that the circle has a symmetry. We are going to test equations for symmetry and equations will be tested if there is symmetry about the x-axis or there is symmetry about the y-axis or there is symmetry about the origin. First, let us define x-axis symmetry. A graph has symmetry about the x-axis if whenever the point AB is on the graph, so is A negative B. I have here a figure. This is our x-axis. The point AB is here while the point A negative B is here. And we can see a symmetry of this graph with respect to the x-axis. Now, to test for axis symmetry for an equation, replace every y by negative y in the equation. Then we say it is symmetric with respect to the x-axis if the equation is the same. Or we say it is not symmetric with respect to the x-axis if the equation is not the same. Let us have an example. Test the equation 2x minus 3y square equals 10 for x-axis symmetry. We are going to replace every y by negative y in this equation. So the 2x we will simply copy here then minus the 3y square becomes 3 times the square of negative y then equals 10. We will simplify this new equation. 2x will be the same minus the square of negative y will be positive y square so we'll write here minus 3y square. The negative sign here is not affected equals 10. And this new equation we will compare with our original equation. And we observe that it is same equation with the original. Then we say that the graph is symmetric with respect to the x axis. Now for the y-axis symmetry, let's have this definition. A graph has symmetry about the y-axis if whenever AB is on the graph, so is negative AB. We have a figure here. This is our y-axis. The point AB is here, while the point negative A is here. We can observe a symmetry with respect to the y-axis on the graph. To test for y-axis symmetry in the equation, we will replace every x by negative x. And then we will say it is symmetric with respect to the y-axis if 
the equation is the same. Or we will say not symmetric with respect to the y-axis if the equation is not the same. Let us have that same example a while ago. This time, we will test 2x minus 3y square equals 10 for y axis symmetry. So we will replace every x by negative x. So the 2x here becomes 2 times negative x, then minus. The 3y square will be the same, equals 10. Then we will simplify this equation. 2 times negative x will be negative 2x. Then negative 3y square will be same, equals 10. From here, we will compare this new equation to the original. And we can observe that this is a different equation. And we say now, the graph of this equation is not symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Let's go now to the origin symmetry. Let us define first. A graph has symmetry about the origin if whenever the point AB is on the graph, so is negative A, negative B. I have here a graph. The origin is here. The point AB is here, while the point negative A, negative B is here. We can see symmetry with respect to the origin on this graph. To test for origin symmetry for some equations, we will replace every x by negative x and y by negative y. Then we will say the graph is symmetric with respect to the origin if the equation is the same. Or we will say the graph is not symmetric with respect to the origin if the equation is not the same. Let us have that same equation a while ago. This time, we will test for origin symmetry. Now, we will replace every x by negative x and y by negative y. So the 2x now becomes 2 times negative x, then minus 3y squared becomes 3 times the square of negative y equals 10. Then we simplify the equation. 2 times negative x becomes negative 2x. Then minus 3 times the square of negative y is simply positive y squared. So this negative sign here is not affected. Equals 10. From here, we will compare this equation to the original equation. We can observe it is different from the original. So we say the graph of this equation is not symmetric with respect to the origin. Let us have another equation. For example, 2. Test 5x squared minus 3y squared equals 15 for various symmetries. Let us start to test for x-axis symmetry. So we are going to replace y with negative y for this equation. The 5x squared we simply copy here, then minus. The 3y squared becomes 3 times the square of negative y equals 15. When we simplify this, it becomes 5x squared minus 3 times the square of negative y is positive y squared. 
So the negative sign here is not affected. Equals 15. Let us compare now this equation by the original and we can see that it is the same. Then we say that the graph is symmetric with respect to the x axis. Going to the test for y axis symmetry, we're going to replace x with negative x. The 5x square here becomes 5 times the square of negative x, then minus this 3y square will be the same. We simply copy that equals 15. Then we simplify further 5 times the square of negative x is positive x square minus 3y square will be same equals 15. Comparing this equation now with our original equation, we can observe that they are the same. And then we will say that the graph is symmetric with respect to the y axis. Going now to test of origin symmetry, we're going to replace x with negative x and y with negative y at the same time. So the 5x square becomes 5 times the square of negative x, then minus 3 y square and the y square becomes the square of negative y equals 15. Simplifying this equation, it becomes 5 times the square of negative x is positive x square, then minus 3 times the square of negative y is positive y square equals 15. Comparing this equation now to our original equation, we can see that they are the same. Then we will say that the graph is symmetric with respect to the origin. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.